Hey everybody, this is Dino with One Tom Plumber. I'm heading into the abyss, otherwise known as the Jeffrey Dahmer room, our basement, because that's where our water heater is, and I want to show you something that could be really explosive if you don't take care of it. Come with me. Hey everybody, I'm back. I am in front of my water heater and I want to show you the device that I was talking about in the earlier clip. This is called a pressure release valve, also a temperature and pressure release valve, a T and P valve. People call it different names. But this T and P valve is basically the most important thing in your house and there's a reason for it. It keeps this water heater from turning into a bomb. When the pressure inside your water tank reaches 150 pounds per square inch, this TPV valve releases the pressure inside the tank and it flows out through the drip tube into the drip pan. It also releases pressure when temperature reaches 210 degrees. Every now and then you want to look into the drip pan to make sure that no water has been leaking into it. If you come by the water heater and you notice that water's been coming out of that drip pipe several times or randomly or every now and then, you probably have a problem with the TPV valve if that water isn't coming from your plumbing or the water tank itself. For example, let's say the water tank is rusted down there. Um, those are obvious clues that the tank is damaged or the plumbing da is damaged from a leak, but if it's actually just coming from this drip tube and you haven't released any of that water, there's a problem. Now, to test the TPV valve itself to make sure it is working correctly, you wanna release this valve by pulling it up and then you're gonna let it water come out of it for about five seconds. So let's do that now. I'm gonna stand away and you'll want to as well because this is very hot water and you don't wanna get scalded. So we just Pull it up, and there you can see water's coming out. Wait about five seconds. We're done, put it back. Everything worked as it should, so that's a good sign. Now, how do you keep the water tank from having too much pressure in the first place? Easy, you use a water pressure gauge. I'll show you, I have one right here. And that's the back side. Uh, Here's the front side. You've seen a video of this before. I've actually made a video on how to use the water pressure gauge on your house to make sure that your water pressure is between about 40 and 60 pounds per square inch. It's really easy to do. I'll have a link to that video and blog in the description below. The next thing you want to do is check your temperature on the water heater itself. And you want to make sure you have this set to the right temperature. To make it easy, I, I basically Put a little mark on there as you can see where I want the temperature to be and um, we just go from there typically the temperature you want is 120 degrees that's the ideal the next item to check is the expansion tank located at the top of the water tank okay so at the end of it this could be capped and then there's a second cap it works just like a tire pressure gauge ah, just dropped it and all you want to do is make sure air is coming out of here so air is coming out you can hear that whistling but no water's coming out if water's coming out you have a problem and you want to make a change to that expansion tank so that's how you test the temperature and pressure release valve that's how you test your expansion tank that's how you test in the back your temperature of water and the water pressure coming into the tank. That's how you do all that stuff. We're gonna keep you from having an explosive device in your home. And if you check those things once a year, it'll take you literally five, 10 minutes to do. You're gonna be safe with a water heater that works all year round. Thanks for watching. This is Dino with One Tom Plumber. Again, like, comment, share if you can. It really helps us understand what you guys like, what you don't, what you want to see more of. And uh, get ready for Halloween. It's coming up. I hope this basement hasn't scared you to death. I know it scares me every time I come down here. So I'm heading out to safety.